The term city circulator is free for now, but that may be changing if the city council president gets his way. WJZ is live downtown. Tracy Young explains why you may soon be paying to ride. Tracy? Well, good evening, Vic. It cost the city about $7 million to operate the Charm City Circular annually, and most of that is paid for by the city parking tax that was increased in 2008. Now the city council president is hoping to pass that tab on to the riders. Riders choose the Charm City Circulator for many reasons. It operates seven days a week, covers four routes in Baltimore in a timely manner, and above all else... Because it's free. <laughs> Number one, it was free. The Charm City Circulator welcomes four million riders a year. 85% of them live in Baltimore City. Probably like twice a week. Six days a week. I can catch the orange to the purple and get to work and save on coffee. A popular service connecting Baltimoreans. And now the city council president is hoping to add a fair. And other communities are saying, hey, why can't we have that service too? And my idea is if we charge a dollar fee, um, we can probably expand it to other areas of the city. An idea that not all riders are on board with, saying it takes the charm out of the circulator. It's extra cash out of your wallet. I probably will walk because I don't have any income. For those riders who welcome the fee, they say it's still cheaper than other modes of transportation. Regular bus is a dollar and sixty cent, or three fifty for all day pass. So a dollar is reasonable. It's it's a dollar. <laughs> Small quarters. I love the circulator, and I will still ride it. A hearing date has not been set for the proposal of this fee. There's also plans to have a discussion on providing a discount to senior or student riders. Reporting live at the Inner Harbor, Tracy Leong, WJZ Eyewitness News. Tracy, thank you. The D.C. circulator also started out free, but now charges a dollar. The free Charm City circulator may no longer be free. Council President Jack Young wants you to pay. As Keith Daniels tells us, there's talk of an end to the free ride. Keith. Well, Jennifer, it costs about $7 million annually to run the program. And tonight, the council president is considering asking passengers to help fund it. Take a ride in downtown Baltimore. Jump on the Charm City circulator. Hello. But a new proposal at City Hall could take the charm out of the circulator, a move that could affect the free shuttle service. A $1 fee is minimal. City Council President Jack Young is calling for a hearing on whether the city should charge passengers a $1 fee to use the popular bus service. I think it's up to the taxpayers who have been involved in order to make that decision. If you expand and you buy more buses, how do we pay for those buses? The free shuttle connects about 4 million riders to work, school, and entertainment in the city. The program is funded primarily through the city's parking tax. The circulator debuted in 2010 and has grown to a fleet of 30 buses that travel four routes in the city, including Harbor East and Fells Point. Stop requested. But there's talk now of expanding, and Young says that could cost the city more money. Right now, I know we get some grants from the state. I don't think we get some money from pro some private industries. But what if it's not enough? Where will we get the money from? But critics, including the downtown partnership, we took the, the idea for the circulator to the city, say charging any amount reduces ridership. A lot of the people who use the, the circulator are riders who have other options. Uh, so they're, they're not going to pay to wait around for something if they could get in a car and go. Well, there's no word tonight on when the hearing will take place, but Young says it will be open to the public and the community will be actively engaged in the process. Keith Daniels, Fox 45 News.